If you want to quickly replace text of motion graphics templates in Premiere Pro, then this tutorial is for you. So I have this sample project here in Premiere Pro with some motion graphics templates and we want to quickly change those texts, hashtag text1, text2 and text3. Normally you would first need to find and select the template clip and then in the central graphics panel find the right text box and update the text. But with automation blocks you can have a much more efficient workflow with the tools in the category Templates Mogurts. The tool Update Text of AE Mogurt is a basic text replacer. So just enter the text you want to replace like hashtag text1 and the new text you want to have like automation blocks. We run the tool and the cool thing is that this updates all templates in the active sequence. So if you used hashtag text1 several times they are all updated instantly. You can even process all sequences of the active project with this option here. Now let's also replace hashtag text2 by, by Mama World. And since the placeholder hashtag text2 only occurs in the first template, you see that this time the second template was not changed. So using this tool already saves some time, but if you need to do this a lot, like creating many variants of your project in different languages, you should really use this second tool instead, which makes the process much faster by using a spreadsheet. Let me quickly revert my project such that we are back to the version with dummy texts, text1, text2 and so on. And by the way your texts don't have to be named that way. You can use whatever placeholder texts you want and also more descriptive names without hashtags for example. Now I already prepared a spreadsheet and you can see that we have in the first column our placeholder text and in the second column the text we want to have. I created the spreadsheet with OpenOffice but you can do that with Excel, Google Docs, Apple Numbers or really any other spreadsheet application if you want. Just make sure to save or export it as a CSV file. Now in the inputs panel of automation blocks we choose the CSV file here. Now we run the tool and all texts are updated instantly. Let's say we need to create a German variant next. So let's add an additional column to our spreadsheet with German texts. Note that currently in our project we have the English texts and not the placeholder texts anymore. It is always a good idea to keep a copy of your project with the placeholder texts such that you can go back to them easily. But we can also replace the English texts by the corresponding German ones directly. We just say replace texts in column 2 by texts in column 3 since in column 2 we have the English texts and in column 3 the German ones. If we now run the tool, the texts update exactly as we want. Let's take a quick look at the other options. The skip first row is useful if you have a title row in your spreadsheet. This row is simply ignored to ensure that the tool does not search for the text EN in this case to replace it by DE for example. Finally, the detailed console output gives you in the console panel of automation blocks detailed information which clips automation blocks processed and which search and replace operations it performed. That's how easily you can update texts of motion graphics templates with automation blocks. Just be aware of one limitation. Premiere Pro has two kinds of templates, namely templates created in Premiere Pro and templates created in After Effects. Unfortunately, the scripting engine of Premiere Pro only allows to modify texts of After Effects templates. So if you have a Premiere Pro template, this tool won't work, unfortunately. Let's drag a Premiere Pro template in the sequence such that you can see the difference. You can see that this template already has a different color and in the essential graphics panel the template is shown as a layer stack with these eyeball icons. So if your template looks like this it is a Premiere Pro template. But if you don't see such a layer stack you have an After Effects template which is what you need for this automation blocks tool. Finally the tools I've shown you now are only about updating texts but if you also want to update colors or other template controls like checkboxes or sliders with a spreadsheet take a look at the tools in the category Clip Property Spreadsheet. Just select one of the tools and click the help button to see a tutorial which explains this in full detail. And since this is automation blocks you can view and modify the block code of the tools to fully customize them to your needs. So if you have a very specific spreadsheet format for example and want to write a custom script to process it, in the automation blocks documentation we have a tutorial which gets you started with exactly this. That's it for this tutorial and I'm looking forward to see you in the next one.